Good morning, I'm Malcolm here at airspotters.com. Just doing a quick critique of this Skymark A330 MRTT from the RAF that the British government had, have had painted in the Union flag. Um, many people say it's Union Jack, but it's not. It's the Union flag. The Union Jack is only when it's flown on board a ship. Um, not a lot of people know that. <laughs> did Michael Caine say that once? I think he did. Not a lot of people know that. But there you go. Um, the Union flag is on this aircraft. Um, also, people don't realise that the Union flag can be displayed upside down as well. Um, on this particular model, you can't tell which way it is because the two white lines at the top of the aircraft are quite, uh, I thought we'd say the same, same width. But the white band at this side should be actually thicker than the white band at this side if you place the flagpole here. If it's the other way up and the thin white band is at the top of the flagpole, it is actually known as a distress signal um, and an insult as well to fly the Union flag the wrong way up. So when you next see a Union flag flying, check that the white band is at the top of the pole and not the thin band. And if it is the thin band at the top of the pole, then go and knock at the door and say, are you in distress? Do you need help? Because that has been used throughout history to save many lives and to send out a silent message, if you like, to other people to say that we do need help. So there's a little history lesson for you this morning. But going back to this model, I think that it is very good value for money. It's just over £50 at airspotters.com, which is where you can go and buy it. The detail they put into this model is very, very good. I mean, obviously, if you buy a die-cast model, the detail is going to be greater, but you're paying over £100 for a die cast model where with a Skymont model you get a lot of detail including if I can just get this to the right way you can actually see the fan blades on the engine they're not plugs the tampo printing is very very crisp and clean and clear as on the real aircraft and also if I go back to the box a minute and you actually get the um refueling probes which actually do attach to the wings so the aircraft can be so they go like 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 that on each wing so you can it can still be used as a refueler when it's not being used by the British government um, but I think it's a striking aircraft I've not actually seen this one in real life yet um, that is a joy to behold when I do I believe there's an Airbus coming out to an Airbus A321 um, being a, a, a acquisitioned or, or painted up, which is a model coming at that as well. So at the moment, airspots.com, you've got the A330 from Skymark, and the reference number for that is SKR, um, hang on, SKR, where are you? 1058. So go to airspots.com, type in SKR1058, or click on the link below, and you'll be taken to airspots.com where you can purchase this model for just over £50, plus postage or search RAF Voyager or go to the RAF Voyager category and you'll be able to see all the other RAF Voyagers we've got in all the different scales which at the moment is 1 to 400 and 1 to 200. So again this is one of my quick videos where I don't do a lot of editing I just say it as I see it um, no flash intros etc but I do hope that you like this model please comment below what you think I did do a video um, on the two diecast models from Gemini Jets and InFlight. So I'll link that below as well if you want to look, watch that. But um, I think this model is bang on and well done Skymarks. It is a lovely looking model and I will look forward to seeing this aircraft in real life at some point in the future. And um, there you go. So pop to airspots.com today and spot yourself and buy yourself a model bye bye for now